Welcome to a first look video of the all new Scott Foil RC, which is Scott's aero road bike, which has aero benefits and lighter weight than the outgoing model. In this iteration, we have the RC30, which is the entry into the range. So, as you can see, the frame is all new, uh, very aero looking, with much more aero fork than the outgoing model. With all the cables nicely tucked away, giving it a very nice look. And aero cues down from the head tube, and similar happening down by the oversized bottom bracket. New low going on the down tube. The rear wheel really tucked in underneath the seat tube here. Again, the back wheel pretty close to that seat tube for aero gains. And as with lots of current bikes, drop seat stays, which give aero advantage but also add in comfort. As you can see, the seat. Seat stays are pretty chunky there, so could be for aero bent, aero gains, but probably not the most amount of comfort. So Scott have built in their new aero seat post, which is designed to give flex and nice compliance. So this bike would ride nicely on all days. So it looks big and aero here, but if you pull out the back, you can see the seat post. It's actually the main bit. Of the seat post is pretty small, which gives in the flex. It's actually in three pieces, the main seat post being this front bit, and there's sort of a fairing on the back, but it's all part clamped in as one. This bit that I've taken out, uh, this bit comes as standard as like a fairing, but you can uh, also get a nice aero light to, to pop into that. So having said, this is the RC30 to enter into the range, which comes with Shimano's new 105 12-speed DI2 group set and alloy wheels. This comes in at 4799 and other models in the range have rival axis with carbon wheels, Altegra DI2 carbon wheels and a Durace DI2 as well. Let's have a look at some of the group set. So the 105 tends to come with a compact group set. So the with this of 5034 on the front and 1134 on the back, so you should have some nice climbing gears. The 105 DI2 is the same as the current Ultegra and Durace DI2, where the shifters contact wirelessly to the rear mech, then the rear mech is connected to the battery, and the front mech connected to the battery to in the system. The battery is stored in this around a nice little port by the bottom bracket. And the system's charge by a charging flap just under here. And there's sort of just a button just under here to do all your settings and things. And the system can all chat to your Garmin and bits through their eTube app. Done seat post. And we've got the Syncross Belcara saddle, which is super comfortable, been my preference the last couple of years. And coming up to the cockpit area. So the 105 DI2 Rival and Ultegra DI2 use this aero stem and the top end models Pro and Ultimate have the one piece carbon bar and stem. I think this stem looks pretty neat on this model and the Rival has an alloy bar and Ultegra DI2 comes with a carbon bar. It's sort of all neat. It's sort of Cables just come up through the front here, then neatly in, into the bars here. Obviously, different stem lengths are available, bar widths available. With a two-piece setup, that all makes things nice. And uh, Syncross specific computer mount can come straight out of here to make a nice, nice detailed finish. The wheels on this bike are alloy wheels. I think. They're nice, but I think they're a bit of a ripe for an upgrade. Whether you're going to hunts, zips, or reserves, or something like that, you could bring a banging bike for, for not a lot of money compared to the competition. 
This is the HMX frame, which the frame by itself retails for three and a half thousand pounds. So this bike coming in at four seven nine nine is a wicked bit of kit. And just with the wheels, uh, they have staggered tyres on this, so we've got 25 mils on the front, 28s on the back. I think that's for aero gains, but obviously 28 mil on the back, adding that little bit extra comfort as well to making this great all-round bike. And the geometry is not too aggressive on this, so we can get lots of people on it. So, other bikes to in a similar segment, I would be thinking of the Merida Reacto, uh, Cervelo Soloist, an S5. BMC um, Time Machine Roads uh, bikes along that type of ilk but uh, yeah great all round bikes been winning races already this year if you're interested we have um, a couple of these in stock at the moment already I'm waiting for more models coming along um, we have our online bike fit to work out that the bike's going to fit you and the geometry will work for you any questions please get in contact with us uh, look forward to hearing from you and I hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers!